everyone, Stella Chung here, and on today's Fix Esports, we're looking at Team Spirit's $18 million Dota 2 win, breaking down who made it to the bracket stage at the League of Legends World Championships, and what happened to postpone Valorant's NA Last Chance qualifier. Happy Monday, y'all. If you've ever wondered how much money you could make while playing video games, the answer is $18 million. But that's if you won this year's international anyways. Dota 2's prestigious tournament finally came to an end with Russia's Team Spirit beating China's PSG LGD in a five-game thriller. It wasn't an easy road for Team Spirit, though. They were sent to the loser's bracket after a loss to Invictus Gaming and needed to pick up five wins in a row, including the redemption win against Invictus to make it to the finals. Still worth it, though, to pick up that ridiculous prize pool. PSG LGD took home 5.2 million, so you know what? Second place isn't all that bad. And the victory for Team Spirit was also recognized by Russia's president, Vladimir Putin, who congratulated them on the win. This was the 10th anniversary of the International, which was supposed to take place last year, but like so many other things, the pandemic forced Valve to postpone. Then the event was supposed to be in Sweden last August, but Sweden refused to recognize the International as an elite sporting event, meaning there would be a lot of logistical issues. Finally, the tournament was moved to October and landed in Romania, which brings us to today and leaves Team Spirit a little bit richer. Moving over to League of Legends, the group stage has finally concluded, and it was a doozy. The only team to make it out unscathed was South Korea's Tamwon Kia in Group A, as they went 6-0. Everywhere else, though, it was a mess. The biggest disappointment? China's Fun Plus Phoenix. Originally, the 2019 champs were pegged to go far, but their collapse in Group A paved the way for North America's Cloud9 to get out with a 2-4 record. EU's Rogue also couldn't punch their ticket. In Group B, South Korea's T1 and China's EDG made it, eliminating 100 Thieves from North America and Detonation Focus Me from Japan. Group C brings another South Korean and Chinese team with RNG and Hanwha Life, respectively. PSG Talent from China and Fnatic from EU failed to make it. And finally, Group D finished up today after a four-way tie, and despite their best efforts, NA's Team Liquid couldn't take out Gen.G from South Korea, which means all four South Korean teams are hitting the bracket stage, compared to only one NA team. Speaking of only one team making it out, Mad Lions are the only EU rep to hit top eight after a hell of a tiebreaker game against China's LNG. The quarterfinals kick off October 22nd. And finally, Valorant's NA Last Chance Qualifier hit a snag last week after it was postponed indefinitely for health and safety reasons. First, the event was paused for a day after an announcement from head of esports Chris Greeley. Players took to Twitter to vent their frustration like FaZe's Baby Bay, who said, I'm fully vaccinated, I tested negative multiple days in a row. I tested positive, then negative, 10 minutes later. Can't play on stage and have to quarantine? LA COVID rules are different, bro. Sheesh. But even before all this, the LCQ was hit by a myriad of technical issues that caused delays, lag, rubber banding, and crashes leading to a less than ideal competitive environment. As this is indeed the last chance for NA teams to fight for a spot at the Valorant Championship in December, players were understandably upset. A lot of these issues cropped up because they weren't playing on LAN, they were playing on online servers in studio. 100 Thieves Nitro said, played an online match on LAN with a coach being on a different continent. Guess there's a first for everything. Riot's justification on this? In case anyone tested positive for COVID, by having the tournament on an online server, teams could continue to compete, even if quarantined. And when people did test positive, they postponed the event anyways. No word yet on when NALCQ will continue. And that's your Compete Fix for today. Remember to like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments what you would do with your share of 18 million if you won the international.